Samsung might be doing something unexpected again with the Galaxy S26 Ultra, and not in the way fans were hoping. So here's the thing. Samsung's new Exynos 2600 chip is shaping up to be a beast. We're talking huge improvements in AI image processing, better power efficiency, and next-level video capabilities. This chip could make smartphone photography smarter and sharper than ever. But the leaks say the Galaxy S26 Ultra might not even use all that power. Yeah, I know, that sounds crazy. According to reliable tipsters, Samsung isn't going all out with the cameras this year. Instead, it looks like the S26 Ultra will mostly reuse the same setup from the S25 Ultra. The main 200 megapixel ISOCELL HP2 sensor? Same. The 50 megapixel ultra wide? Same. The 50 megapixel 5X periscope telephoto? Still the same. Sony IMX 854. Even the front camera, that 12 megapixel Sony sensor, stays the same. The only real upgrade seems to be the 3X telephoto camera, which is getting bumped from 10 megapixels to 12 using Samsung's new S5 K3 LD sensor. That's it. So yeah, not exactly the revolutionary upgrade people expected. More like a small step forward. Now, some leakers, like at Universe Ice, say Samsung might tweak the apertures a bit, meaning maybe slightly better low-light photos, but even then, we're talking about minor differences that most people might not even notice unless they compare side by side. And here's where it gets even more interesting. While Samsung's taking small steps, companies like Xiaomi, Vivo, and Honor are making huge jumps. They're throwing in brand new sensors, 200 megapixel telephoto lenses, and just pushing mobile photography to the next level. So yeah, Samsung's playing it a bit safe this time around. Even the design changes sound pretty subtle. Leaked renders show the S26 Ultra might have slightly rounder corners and a smoother, more refined shape, so it'll look cleaner, but again, not a big design change. So the big question is, why is Samsung holding back? Well, one big reason could be their old habit of keeping Exynos and Snapdragon phones equal. Samsung doesn't like giving one region better features than the other. So even though the Exynos 2600 chip can do things like 8K HDR10 plus video at 60 frames per second, Samsung might actually disable it just to match the Snapdragon version, which doesn't support that feature. That's been a long-running policy at Samsung. Global feature parity. Basically, no matter where you buy it, you get the same experience. But the downside is some cool features get held back. Now, what's funny is that earlier leaks made the Exynos 2600 sound like a total monster. Supposedly, it can handle a single 320 megapixel camera sensor or even three 108 megapixel sensors at once. It can process 14-bit RAW photos, merge up to five HDR frames for better color and dynamic range, and shoot 8K video at 60 FPS or 4K at 120 FPS. Plus, it's got AI-powered stabilization and a super-efficient image signal processor that's 30% more power-efficient than before. It even has crazy bandwidth, 1.8 terabytes per second, just for handling real-time AI image processing. Like, that's the kind of stuff you expect on high-end computers, not phones. <laughs> so when people heard all that, everyone thought, okay, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is gonna be Samsung's big comeback in photography. But now, maybe not. It looks like Samsung might be saving all that power for next year's S27 series instead. Still, it's not all bad news. There's actually something cool coming in the charging department. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is rumored to bring a new PPS fast charging system. It'll charge up to 55 watts for the first 15%, that's the quick top-up zone, and then maintain around 45 watts until 70%. That's way more efficient than the current system and should give faster, smoother charging overall. So even if Samsung isn't shaking things up in the camera department, it's still improving where it matters. Efficiency, stability, and consistency. Honestly, I think Samsung's playing the long game here. Maybe they're using the S26 Ultra to perfect the Exynos 2600 
test its limits quietly before going all out next year. That would explain the focus on refinement rather than revolution. But still, part of me wishes Samsung would just go for it. Use the full potential of that chip. Let us see what it can really do. Because right now, it feels like they've built a supercar engine and then put it in eco mode. <laughs> So yeah, the Galaxy S26 Ultra might not be the giant leap we hoped for, but it's still a step forward. Smarter processing, better energy use, faster charging, and that classic Samsung polish. Maybe this isn't the chapter where Samsung changes everything, but it could be the one that sets the stage for the next big leap. Because if the Exynos 2600 is as powerful as the leaks say, just imagine what the Galaxy S27 Ultra could do with it fully unleashed.